Hey guys, how you doing? Hope you had a good Thursday. It's really late at night while I'm recording this. I just got home from my tanks game, which went very well. We tested out the Land Cruiser P1000 Rata, and yeah, so has a lot of work to do it. But anyway, so I get home to find this box, and I believe this is my pledge fulfillment for the Whisper Mecha. This is Kickstarter that was successfully funded in about two hours, I believe. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, it was run by uh, Brandon Farrow, friend of mine on Facebook. Really good guy. So my pledge, I can't remember what the pledge levels were, but I did the double shot. It was the basic pledge where you got two of the Whisper Mechas. And I chose to get one standing and one that was kneeling. And I believe I got the two different head options and possibly the hand options. It's been a while. And to be honest, I really haven't kept up with it much. Um, so yeah, here's to hoping what it is. Now these mechas were are intended to be used for pretty much any scale gaming. Um, ideally 15 millimeter as a mech, or if you so choose for 28 millimeter as either a suit of power armor or just regular armor. So let me go ahead and open this up. All right, here we go. Let's be careful, just paper, paper. And yes, I did get two. Here we go. I guess I did not get any options. Throw the box to the side. All right, let's see. I haven't held, held these in hand, and I purposely stayed away from the Whisper page on Facebook. So let's take a look. What we got. So this is, okay, so I got two bases in here, that's a good sign. So this is the main body. Now the, the Kickstarter was fulfilled by uh, Impact Miniatures. And so far I am digging what I see. I am not seeing much in the way of mold lines, just a little piece right here so far on the main body. I think this is the kneeling one <clears throat> and as always I apologize for the camera being out of focus however hopefully this will be one of the last videos I do with this camera with this phone as I finally was able to afford to get a new one yeah I don't know why it's not focusing it my camera sucks so anyway that's that let's see I have Two heads, an arm and an arm. Oh yeah, this is going to be a very nice build. So basically, it's a ball and socket, which I really like. <clears throat> yeah, this is going to be the kneeling one. Whoops. Uh, it's going to be kind of hard to do. I am not going to magnetize these, because I really like the poses that Brandon designed them in. Why is my camera not focusing? Oh my gosh. All right, but anyway, <clears throat> excuse me. Main body, the leg, just a little bit right there. Just a little bit of flash mold, something to be expected. Nothing on the back side. Very clean, very, very, very clean. I am very surprised. Little nub right there. Let's see if this will. Let me try to fix the change the lighting. Maybe the lighting will help. Uh, it's trying to. There we go. See, so you got a little nub right here. Little nub right there. That is, I believe, this is the left arm. <clears throat> Look at the heads in a minute. The right arm, or no? This is another. This is a left arm. Okay, so the two left arms came in one package. That's okay. No big deal. And the scope, and it looks like I can't tell if this is going to be something to cut off or just leave it on there. Because I mean, it's a mech, so 
it's a sensor, so why not? But look at that detail. That is a gorgeous detail. That really is. And you know what? Originally, I had a very militaristic paint scheme planned for these. But I think I'm going to use my new Vallejo uh, Mecha color line on these and make them really bright. Just something, something that I don't ever do. I usually do something more, a little bit subdued. Not sure if this is going to be able to pick up the head detail. I wish, I wish it could. I wish I could hold it for you in a way that you could see it. And I believe this was the Bastet. Yeah, there's the front of the head. So it goes like that. You can see the little, you can see the nastiness under my nails also. <laughs> very, very, very nice. Brandon, I applaud you, sir. Yes, you and I are definitely share the mind of a mech head. Wow, that is, that is really nice. That's one head. <clears throat> Oh, oh, oh. Where'd he go? There it goes. Wasn't intending this video to be very long, but it just may end up being pretty long. Oh, come on, focus. There we go. And the other head. And it fell. Thankfully not into the abyss. You're going to see my nasty head there. Hello. <clears throat> I am so sorry. I said it's pretty late. So there's the other head. Is that the front? No. Is that the front? I think this is the front. Well, I know this it goes on somewhere, huh? I think it goes like this. Yeah, like that. There we go. Knife head. Very cool. Alright, let's look at the other one real quick. That This one is the standing version. Same thing, the Bastet. Looks like there's a little bit more mold line work to be done on the standing one. Come on, focus. What is that? Okay, that's a piece of armor right there. Looks like a ammo storage pouch. Why do you not want to push to focus so for me today? There we go. Ammo storage pouch. Sidearm right there. Backpack. Um there's a mold line right there two-part mold um not terribly bad it's a little off again is it a big deal no not really not in my opinion <clears throat> considering what you have here the amount of detail in it um it does look this side's a little bit sharper on the line than this one little bit of where some air bubbles were in the resin is that a mistake no it is battle damage there are never mistakes there everything is battle damage okay so that's that and let's see oh and I come I do got this it's the two of the same heads so I can't recall anyway so here's same weapon no really need to show it but basically, see the ball, socket, boom. Surprise, motherfucker. So I guess if one wanted to, you could magnetize this. Give it somewhat of an action figure pose. Which reminds me, tomorrow I will have to go and purchase some new drilling bits to board this out just slightly. Let me see if I can bring it up here. Um, there you go. The barrel does have a bit of an indentation in there. Might be worth boring out a little bit. But yeah, again, awesome work on this. 
and the right arm, no, I'm sorry, the left arm has a blade. Um, very easy to do an energy effect on that if you so choose. I think I'm just going to have it silver or rather chrome. I'm going to chrome it out. There you go. Look at that. Gorgeous. This looks almost more like a human arm than a mechanical arm. But again, not a big, big deal. And again, I'm not seeing much that I have to clean up here. Just a little bit right there, some right there. So yeah, the Whisper Mecca. Um, I really wish at the time I hadn't been so broke. We had some hard financial times at that point this initially launched so I could only get the very basic one but well worth it in my opinion there are I believe five other mechs in this line I don't know when they will be going to mass market quote-unquote available online um, hopefully on the whisper page just like it sounds w h i s p e r got a picture of a mech on the cover on Facebook look it up I'm sure there'll be an announcement on there the not too distant future and again brandon congratulations sir i i i like him i dig it i really 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 dig it um and for what the price was if you could go a little bit bigger i'm definitely in you know maybe make them a, you know just a little bit bigger you know about that big i'd definitely be in oh i'll be in at this size too all right, guys, hope you had a good evening. I hope you liked this. Let me know what you think. If you picked up any of the Whisper figures, let me know. Let us all know. Love to see them. All right, have a good night, guys. Take it easy.